Hey, wanna hear how I became a featured Webtoon creator? Well, gather around ye old YouTube campfire and listen to my tale. Hey, Walter here. We all know what Webtoon is, right? It's just the biggest disruptive force in comics and webcomics right now. It's a great company, a killer platform, and everybody knows about it. I've told people that my comic, Hacksaw, is on Webtoon, and they're like, what? I've read that comic, and I'm like, what? That's freaking awesome. I feel super lucky to be one of their featured creators, but it wasn't luck, so what was it? By the way, if you want more Webtoon goodness, make sure you subscribe because I'm planning on posting more videos about Webtoons and just making comics in general. All right, so the story. Let's cut back to three years ago. You got a young, naive Walter sitting at his table trying to sell his books at a convention. I have my two graphic novels, Cubicles and Shiver Bureau, on sale at WalterHosley.com. And I'm just like, you know, I'm doing my thing, and this guy walks up. He's like surrounded in a halo of gold. He's playing a harp. He's got a melody on his lips. Uh, not really. He was just a normal dude. But when I think about it now, that's what I imagine. Like just an angel of comics just coming to, to rescue me. Um, so anyway, so I start talking to the guy. We're talking about comics. We're talking about my book. And uh, he decides to buy one of my books. And I'm like, freaking awesome. This is my heart just like bursts with joy anytime someone buys my one of my books. But anyway, so he buys the book. And I'm like, that's cool. And then it's the next day of the convention. And guess what? He comes back. He's like, hey, I read your book. It was freaking awesome. I'm like, freaking thank you. And he's like, I want to buy your other book. And I'm like, freaking thank you again. Uh, so anyways, he buys the book and he leaves. Uh, can you guess what happens next? Yes. The next day, he comes back again. He's like, hey, I read that book too. I love that book also. By the way, I'm an editor for this company called Webtoon, and I would really like to get a pitch from you. And I'm like, okay, that sounds really cool. He gives me his card, um, and I'm like, I'll reach out to you later. So at this point, I had no idea what Webtoon was. I never heard of it. So I go home, and I'm doing a bunch of research about the company, and it just sounds like way too good to be true. Like, a company like this shouldn't exist in the comic world. Like, comics don't work this way. It, was, it blew my mind, basically, and I couldn't believe it. I noticed that my friend Jason Brubaker of Remind and Sithra fame was on there, so I reached out to him asked him what he thought about it and he said the company was legit that they were awesome and that was that was pretty much all i needed at that point so long story short i sent the guys a pitch and we made a beautiful comic baby together great story right i think so i think we should make a movie about it but i told this story to another creator and his response was oh so you got lucky and my response to that was to tell me I got lucky? No. At least that's what my response would have been if it wasn't over email. So I just deleted the email and moved on. But so why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because comics is a lot of hard work and it might seem like luck, but it's not. It's like years and years of grinding it out and it might feel like you're not achieving anything, that you're not reaching any new place, but you are, and if you put in the work, eventually you're gonna get there. It's just a slow grind, that's what comics are. It's a grind, it's a hustle, but that's how you get to it. Um, but to end the story on a bang, I'll give you the quick breakdown on the timeline. June 2016 was the first time I met the editor at the convention. I sent him an email, never heard anything back. September 2016, just a few months later, he was at another convention I was at. We chatted, he was like, oh, sorry, I didn't respond to your email. Just go ahead and send me the pitch and we'll, we'll just start from there. So I send him the pitch, um, he gets the pitch, like we do a lot of back and forth. And then it comes around, I think until September of 2017 is when the contract was signed. So we're like over a year at this point. And then the production begins, the comic goes live on Webtoon, March, 2018 so I mean that's like a year and a half I don't even know so it's not a quick process it's a lot of work uh, you have to do a lot of legwork up front I had to get 10 chapters done for webtoon before it even launched so there's a lot of work there it takes a lot of time but like I said it's awesome company awesome platform and if you get a chance to work with them I say do it go for it it's be the time of your life anyways all right, so that's how I became a featured webtooner. Question, question, question. Be sure to leave your questions in the comments below. I do check them. Otherwise, be sure to like, comment, link, love, hug, and subscribe to my channel if you want some more sweet, sweet goodness. Otherwise, you can get my shirts and my books in the links down below. 
And if you're wanting to make your own Webtoon comic, be sure to check out my other process videos to help you get there. Otherwise, bye.